WTM 13's Jeff Eliasoff says the pain and anger still lingers for all involved. It was indeed a split second decision made on Thanksgiving night, a decision that left overarching questions for our entire community and especially people of color. Not only was the Matic Brackford shot, but what if someone had ran in between that bullet? Was that the best course of action that could have been taken in that situation? And oftentimes what we see when a black or brown person is in the vicinity of one of those panic situations, it always results in our lives being taken. Community activist Onoyemi Williams wants to see all gun violence end. And she knows Emantic Bradford or EJ had a gun on him that night. But if we don't protect ourselves, who's going to protect us? Police, the history of the police interacting with the black community has always been that of a weapon against us, not a protection for us. As to comment on this unhappy anniversary, Hoover's mayor, police chief, and a number of city councilors declined to appear on camera citing pending litigation. But Mayor Frank Brocato issued this statement, which reads in part, Thanksgiving is a time for reflection. We continue to remember the family of Amantic E.J. Bradford Jr. and all those affected by this event. Going forward, we consistently seek ways to improve relationships among all people. Mutual respect is the foundation on which we will keep building our city. Williams welcomes a continuing dialogue about race relations and police tactics, but she cautions the wounds suffered beyond Amantic Bradford's death will take much more than a year to heal. In Hoover, Jeff Eliasoff, WVTM 13.